Hi, do. Hi there, Japan fans. In today's show, we're going to talk about how you deal with a, an audience that's full of all these various personality types. When you're giving the one presentation, how does that work? Present oh master Shimasho. This is the four-year-old Presentations Japan series podcast. We are beaming around the world to you from sunny Minato Ku here in Tokyo. I am your host, Dr. Greg Straw, your corporate coaching and training guy, committed to your success, the president of Dale Cunning and Train Japan, the best-selling author, Japan Sales Mastery and Japan Business Mastery. Through this podcast, I want to help you grow a better speaker who is clear. And everyone says, when we survey them, about what do you want to do as a speaker? How do you want to be seen as a speaker? How would people want to regard you as a speaker? They all say, I want to be clear. We also want you to be confident. Confidence sells. People buy your confidence. If you don't sound convinced when you're telling us something, guess what? We won't listen. To be persuasive. Now, you want us to do something. You want us to take some action. You've got to persuade us to do that. Are you any good at that? That's what we're going to deal with in this podcast. And be highly influential with those around you. That's the role, isn't it? To be an influencer. Direction. Concepts. Marketing budgets. Project budgets. All those sorts of things require influence. And if you're in a company and you can't influence those things then you are always going to be taking direction from somebody else. So don't forget to subscribe. Share this podcast. Family, friends, colleagues, they would all benefit from hearing it. Now, we are not, sadly, we are not, no money involved. We are not sponsored by Libsyn. Libsyn, you want to send us some dough, we'd be happy. We're not sponsored by you, but we do value our listeners' privacy, which is why we chose Lipset to host these podcasts. Unlike many other hosting organizations, Lipset have a strict policy that does not allow access to your private information by anyone. Here is our daily podcast lineup on iTunes. Mondays, Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. Tuesday, the Presentation Japan series. Every second Tuesday, the Business Tatsujin no Oshie show. Wednesdays, Sales Japan series. Thursdays, the Leadership Japan series. And every second Thursday, the Business Pro podcast. Fridays, the Japan Business Mastery show. Saturdays, Japan's top business interviews. Now, this is episode number 214214. Today, we're talking about simultaneously dealing with all four audience types when presenting. Experts, pseudo-experts, amateurs, believers, skeptics, supporters, enemies, Make up that sea of faces in front of us when we get up to speak. We can get some basic data from the organizers about who is in the room, what industries, companies, gender, age, configurations are arrayed in those venue seats. What we can't tell are the information assimilation biases of our audience members. This means we have to plan for a spread of reactions to what we're going to say. By plan, factor that into the content and the delivery of our talk. How do we do that? There will be four basic personality styles in that random selection of individuals gathered to hear our talk. Obviously, we can't easily satisfy four different demands at the same time. During the course of the presentation, we have to input elements 
which will appeal to all four at different times. Usually speakers don't do this at all. They plan and deliver based on their own preferred styles and to hell with the rest of the room. Actually, it isn't that nuanced. It is not a conscious decision and more of one by neglect. Content needs to have evidence. The degree of granularity we can go into, however, will be linked to our knowledge base and also to the time available to cover the topic. If we just bludgeon our audience with numbers for 40 minutes, the analyticals in the room will be euphoric and everyone else totally nonplussed. They love the detail, the proof, the evidence through numbers and 0 0.0001 is a fully acceptable number for them. They don't care about us speaking in a monotone or being fully boring as long as we keep coming with more valuable data. They will ask us incredibly detailed questions about what we presented and will be carefully checking to spot any contradictions or errors in the numbers or the assertions. Amiables are very conservative and low-key. They don't like bombastic outbursts, radical ranting and venting. Don't go down very well with them. Calm delivery in not too a loud of speaking voice is appreciated. They like plenty of reference to people. Who was involved? What did they do? How did they feel about it? Are all curiosity factors for them. They generally won't raise their hand to ask a question because they prefer to keep a low profile. If we are low-key throughout the talk, then the analyticals and the amiables will be fine with that. But not so other key types in the audience. We need to have periods of calm interaction with our audience to keep these first two groups happy. Focusing on data and people tends to go down well. Find out more when we come back from the break. Today's show is brought to you by our public courses, but we also do custom in-house programs tailor-made for you. We do these in our super safe classroom. We do them live, online. Now, we do them in Japanese and we do them in English. Today's show is sponsored by, on the 12th, no, sorry, not the 12th, sorry, on the 8th, my mistake, 8th, 8th of December, The Secrets of Human Relations and Communication. On the 11th of December, Adjust to Change. On the 18th of December, in our professional leadership series, we will look at the planning process. Check out our website at enjapan.dalekanegi.com for more information on those courses there. If you want to do better in Japan, email me at greg.story at dalekanegi.com. If you like learning by watching videos, then we have over 1,000 there for you at Japan Dale Kaney TV on YouTube. We release three TV shows every week on YouTube. That's the Cutting Edge Japan Business Show. That's a premier business show in Japan. It comes out Mondays, Fridays. We have the Japan Business Mastery Show. Saturdays, we release Japan's top business interviews where I interview leaders from SMEs all over to the corporate captains of industry on a single topic, leading in Japan. Every second Thursday, we release the Business Pro TV show. Don't forget, get my book, The Bible on Selling, Japan Sales Mastery, and also Japan Business Mastery, both available on 
Amazon. Welcome back. Expressives are bored with all of that data and hate that low energy stuff speakers get up to. They want some action, flamboyance, excitement, passion, enthusiasm, pizzazz, and entertainment. They don't care too much for the nitty gritty detailed evidence. They want to see some powerful belief and emotional commitment to what we are saying. They like the towering rhetoric of the motivational speaker. If really moved, leaping out of their chairs and being supportive would be no problem for them. We need to provide some big picture speech elements for this group. At specific moments, we can unleash our passion for our recommendations, get very powerful in that advocacy and really push out the volume and the energy. Drivers are very outcome focused. So what value can you bring to me? What can I learn that will make me better so that I can use it to improve what I'm doing now? The five key things, the 10 steps, are all super attractive frameworks. They want to know the why, the what, and the how. They're no near the cheerleader because they want the takeaways. They are their own cheerleader. So they search for new knowledge they can apply. Your passion is appreciated, but the viability of the information in concrete usage terms is more appealing. Having lots of energy is fine, but having very little is not. Be powerful at times, but come laden with gifts of guides to do better. In our talk, we need to have phases that provide value to all four groups. We cannot favor our own style or one other style exclusively because we have effectively excommunicated the rest of the group. This is a delicate act to pull off, which is why it needs careful thought and planning beforehand. You can't make this stuff up or get the balance right on the fly. We have to start with the premise that we have a range of people in the room. We need to give them all a taste of wonder defined by how they see that playing out. Did you get value from today's show? If you did, share love around with your family, friends and colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe and share this podcast on iTunes. Until the next episode. Go out there, apply the learnings from today and become a presentations legend amongst your circle, whether you're in person or online. Thank you for listening and please tune in next week. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guide. Committed to your success here in Nippon. <laughs>